Good afternoon, I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. PBA teams are now allowed to resume practice. As presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says, the IATF has approved the recommendations of the PBA to hold practices amid the pandemic. As per the PBA's proposal, only four players, a medical officer and a trainer will be allowed on the courts for workouts behind closed doors. These recommendations were submitted by the league last May and were included in the proposal of the Games and Amusement Board last week. And to talk to us about this development, we have on the line PBA Commissioner Mr. Willie Marshall himself. Commissioner, good afternoon. Could you tell us more about this new system? I understand uh, we're only allowing four players at the time. How will that work? Yeah, yeah. Maganda nga po. Maganda nga po. One, natutuwa nga kami na pinayagan tayo ng task force at ng government na makapag-practice na Uh, yung protocols na yan na sinubit natin, uh, four players, uh, social distancing, walang scrimmages, walang games, nandun lang ang trainer and one uh, uh, safety officer. Uh, bawal sila mag, uh, maglaro. Uh, uh, most of all, Charles, parang physical conditioning ang ginagawa natin dyan sa 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 protocol ng practice natin. Right. Uh, so, Commissioner, baby steps, ika nga, no? one thing at a time. At least now the players are able to uh, maintain their fitness levels. Uh, with this new development, how far off are we from actually seeing uh, the PBA games going back on air? Uh, one, uh, inihintay natin ang approval din ng government at ng task force kasi inaprobahan pa lang nila yung practices natin. At wala pa din sa akin letter Uh, sinabihan lang ako na approve yung practice at sinabi din sa akin, ah, nakita ko yung sinabi ni Secretary Roque na approve na yung practice. So, hindi pa namin alam kung pwede na rin mag, mag, mag Pero ang pagkakaalam ko lang, pinayagan nila yung again, namin protocol na apat na players lang. So, hihintayin pa rin natin kung anong sasabihin ng task force, kung sasabihin nila na pwede na na basketball Pwede na scrimmages, doon na tayo. Uh, magsisimula na tayo dahan-dahan na makapagsimula ng mga scrimmages. Kasi uh, talaga naman, Charles, simula, hindi ka pwede agad maglaro ng basketball. Kasi magkaka-injury, injury yung mga players natin. Kawawa naman sila. Alright, thank you for that. That was PBA Commissioner Willie Marshall. Thanks for your time. Officials continue to inspect several establishments, including restaurants across Metro Manila, to check for their compliance with GCQ protocols. To give us the latest updates, let's bring in Dale De Vera. He's reporting live. Dale, where exactly did these surprise inspections take place? Charles officials from the Trade Department inspected food establishments here in Bonifacio Global City in Taguig to check whether safety standards are being met. Under Secretary Ruth Castello says all of the six restaurants they visited are at least 90 to 95 percent compliant. This as they strictly practice social distancing and other health measures. While some prefers a seat plan where diners can't sit face to face, one restaurant decided to put up acrylic dividers between customers. Castello says they continue to check on restaurants' compliance, especially now that malls already ask for their help in monitoring these establishments. She adds that the DTI is seeking to boost consumer confidence to help attract potential customers and rebuild businesses. The, the trade official, however, reminds the public that following safety protocols are also for their own good to prevent the further spread of COVID-19. Charles, the DTI said, uh, also visited a salon here in uh, BGC after Malacanang said that the IATF will uh, soon be allowing personal services like hair coloring and uh, wax treatment. Castella advises salon, own, salon owners to wait for the guidelines before offering such services. Charles? Right, thanks for that update, Dale. That was Dale De Vera reporting live from Taguig. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. NCRPO Chief Debold Sinas confirms that the security guard who held the doctor hostage at East Avenue Medical Center has tested positive for COVID-19. Sinas adds that the 10 arresting officers for the incident last Wednesday are now under quarantine. 
The IATF will allow religious gatherings of up to 10% of the venue's capacity in GCQ areas beginning July 10. But presidential spokesperson Harry Roque reminds the faithful, once again, to strictly observe health measures. And the group led by former Social Welfare Secretary Judy Tagiwalo has filed a petition for mandamus before the Supreme Court to compel the government to conduct mass testing and release accurate information about the pandemic. For more updates, follow News 5, Philippine Star, and Business World online. You can also visit our website, onenews.ph, for in-depth analysis. And you can catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account at www.signalplay.com so you can stream One News live anytime and anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.